Hey guys, Jason X with SCNS Live, powered by Silinks.com. Just got a quick review for you. Uh, I got two, really. But this is the Legends. Transformers Generation, um, Legends Class, Cosmos, and Payload, and Swerve, and Flanker. Now, I found these guys uh, a couple of weeks ago, just been kind of messing around with them. Really haven't done the review, but I really like these guys. These little Legends figures, they're calling them. I mean, these are scouts. Now, I'm a big fan of Minibots. I love Transformers Minibots. Always have. So I'm glad to kind of get some better detailed ones. And, you know, but we'll get to that in a second. Let's go ahead and take a look at Cosmos' package. Nice shot of Cosmos there. Cosmos and Payload. And here's a look at the back for the bio. There's a look at Cosmos there with his Minicon buddy. And some tech specs. But all right. And we'll go ahead and get Swerves out of the way. Here is Swerves back. Look at that. I love that look on Swerves' face. Of course, these are easy transformation. Here's a look at Swerves' bio. Look at the bottom self. It's crossover mode. And there's a look at the tech specs. So, anyway. I love how Swerves fire blast is really really low so anyway let's bring these guys back in here and get the camera to focus but here we go we got Cosmos in his space shuttle form and Swerve in his truck form now I really like uh, the size of these guys like here he is compared to uh, I guess the latest scout class we got this is wind charger from the hunt for Decepticons line so yeah, they scale pretty well I kinda like that Swerve's a little bit smaller but this guy seems a little too big but this seems like about the right size, so. so let's go ahead and take a look at, uh, well, let's take a look at Cosmos' Minicon payload here. That payload's a little white shuttle, very simple, with an Autobot symbol there. And pretty much to transform this guy, there you go, there's a look underneath him right here. You just uh, flip these up. And I'm sorry for the white background and everything, but he, there's not much to him. He does have a nice, uh, nice face sculpt in there. Actually got a little bit of detail in there. Uh, articulation, his arms can move up. And that's pretty much it. Now he does have a third mode. Which you want to take this peg and pull it down. Bring his arms back. Like so. And take this little section of the rocket and slide it back. And there you have a double barreled blaster here. So, yeah. We'll just set him to the side and we'll go ahead and take a look at Cosmos. Now Cosmos is a nice little space shuttle. Got two guns here on the front. You can also, I don't know why this is here, but you can plug payload into these guns. You know, if he was still in shuttle mode, it just kind of, you know, I'll go ahead and, I guess we'll put him back in shuttle mode here for a second. But yeah, he just kind of plugs into these guns. And, I mean, okay why but it does it I don't know why it does it but it does it so yeah just from back in gun mode but yeah Cosmos is a traditional green shuttle got some nice windows there at the front I, I, I really like this guy over the uh, last Legends Cosmos we got which hmm, I feel like dragging that guy out of the uh, the box to show you a comparison just because he was kind of uh, not so great, but I know it's really hard to duplicate this, uh, this shuttle form, but they do it pretty well here. And to transform, you just want to flip this up back here, take the front, go ahead and split it apart. There are his legs. Break this apart. Straighten those out. Bring this down and rotate it. Turn the legs at the knee joints. And bring it forward. It doesn't really tab in, but it does stay there. So I love, I like reviewing these little guys because you can just get them on camera so easy. Uh, you just take the backpack and push it down. He's got a nice little set of rocket thrusters back there. Take the arms, unfold them. They kind of peg in a little bit here. He's got some huge monster fists. I love that. He's got a little notch at the back of his head here, which you're supposed to get your fingernail under and pull up the head. And uh, be careful getting your fingernail here because I did scratch some of the paint off of his face. So just uh, be, be careful with that. I might just repaint his head. There you have uh, Cosmos in his robot mode. And uh, not too bad. I like the big Autobot symbol. 
I love the look of the shoulders and these huge fists. Boy, look at these knuckle dusters, I tell you, boy. About to put a hurt on somebody. Got some guns on the inside of there that I actually didn't notice until now. But yeah, really good Cosmos head mold. And then you look at this and you say, that's Cosmos. And the head does turn. It does have, you know, he's got, uh, well, this is more for the transformation, but it does have a knee joint here, but you can kind of pick that up a little bit. Got a rotation at the knee, a um, little ball joint here that pops out. Uh, the torso can rotate. You got some little ball joints in the shoulders that are on a hinge as well. You get a little bit out of there. Uh, just an elbow joint here. Uh, nothing else. Oh, and it rotates at the uh, elbow as well. And last but not least, you can take the payload and just throw them in his hand. And there you have Cosmos ready to drop somebody with this cannon. That's what I'm talking about. So moving on, here we got Swerve. So yeah, we're Swerve's pretty easy. He's a nice little truck. And uh, he does well for what, you know, just a simple little truck. I mean, it's a mini-bot. What do you want? And he rolls really well. Dig that. And you can see, oh, there he is. Visible head syndrome. <laughs> that, that mug of his. You just, I look at it and I laugh. So anyway, to transform this guy, you just want to take the legs and flip them back. Yes, I love doing that just because it's all g one and whatnot. Take these arms, bring them down. Push the torso in. Hmm, I was curious about something here. Nope. Nope, anyway. And take the hood and flip it back. I guess I should have shown his Minicon first, but I was kind of wanting to get to Swerve. But there you have Swerve in his robot mode, and he's not too bad. Like I said, that face right there is what gets it for me with this guy. That huge sideways grin. Nice big visor. I love the color on that visor, too. I don't know what it is. It's just a really nice blue. But anyway, since I seem to have jumped over, we're going to go ahead and get to uh, his Minicon here, Flanker. And Flanker is kind of a, a weird looking jet. <laughs> there's his body there. I will say there's more transformation of this guy, I guess. You just flip in his wings, and you flip this down, and there he stands on his own. But uh, he's not too bad. Got a little bit of detail on the head here. Oh, I'm sorry. There's no detail on that head there. <laughs> it's it's worse than payload here, but it does have a nice uh, kind of body shape to him. I like how this looks, and he also has a third mode. You just want to take this handle and flip it down. Take this part and kind of split it. Hmm. You want to take this and I guess you don't move it there. Hold on, how do you get this guy out of here? Okay, there you go. It's, it's at his chest. You want to take that part off. Take it and peg it in up here. And then he just kind of stacks on himself. There you have him in a nice tri-barrel blaster. It's not the, my first blaster. But hey, it's okay. Now back to Swerve. He does have uh, some uh, knee articulation. He'll go all the way up thanks to the transformation. Got some ball joints at the hips. No twist at the knees like... Uh, Cosmos did. No rotation at the wrist or the waist, but it does have some shallow ball joints here. It's got some ball joint at shoulders that can move around and uh, no wrist articulation. And the head can go back and forth. It's more for the transformation, but it can't rotate. So yeah, he's a little bit more limited in the articulation than Cosmos, but I still dig him. Still do. You can take Flanker here and plug him in. And now Swerve's got a gun that he's going to blow his face off with. So yeah, these guys are uh, actually pretty cool. I gotta say, uh, if you can find them, they're showing up in targets. I know they were a little bit hard to find coming out, and people were kind of worried where are we gonna get these guys. Uh, well, yeah, I mean you can find them at Target. Look around for them, cause they're definitely worth having. I gotta say, they're just nice little mini bots. I like putting them in my bag and just kind of taking them around. Uh, here's another comparison before we go with uh, Wind Charger. And Wind Charge is a little bit bigger, but he still fits in this scale with them, I think. I think he works just fine as far as another mini bot. So until next time, guys, I'm Jason the Expert, Estee Live. Watch the show every Thursday. Until next time, guys, I will catch you later.